Good day, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending where you're watching me from. This is Jonah Apparels. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your kimono dress, or you can call it a robe dress. You know, I'm going to teach you how to make your kimono dress or a robe dress. So as you can see, I've already patterned it, but I'm going to explain what I have done. You know, so here I folded my Ankara and I marked out four inches from the front. This is the front pattern I'm making. So I marked out my four inches, four inches down, and I ruled it with my ruler. I ruled it down like this with my ruler till the end, the end of the the, the length of the dress. So, and um, the measurement we are going to use for this dress is uh, the hip measurement, the length of the uh, dress, and um, your shoulder alone. You know, so the hip of um, the hip measurement we are going to use is 43 and a half. And when we divide 43 and a half into 4, it's giving us 11 inches. So, so we are marking out 11 inches and I added 4 inches. I added 4 inches for ease allowance. Okay, no. 11 inches plus 4 inches and 1 inch allowance 11 inches plus 4 inches and 1 inch allowance so we are going to mark the measurement down to the length of the gown you see from from the end of the the fabric here till the length the down length of the fabric there so I marked it out then the next thing now is to is to mark our shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement for this dress is uh, 16 is 16 so I'm going to mark out 16 then you have to be careful so that you will not mark the four inches that we have already marked out so from the four inches i measured my 16 inches that is eight and a half your shoulder measurement divided by two which is 16 divided by two is eight you have half inch for your allowance so i marked it out now the length of the armhole is nine inches we are using nine inches for the length of the armhole as you can see so i've marked it out and i've ruled the line you know, in kimono dress, kimono doesn't have joint sleeve. We pattern the sleeve together with the dress. You know, so anyone that is marking, uh, um, that is uh, drafting the sleeve different from the body, maybe the 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 fabric is not enough to draft the sleeve. That's why he's, he's, he or she is joining the sleeve. So kimono dress is meant to join together. Do you understand? So. So what we are doing here now, we are on that shoulder, we are marking out our one inch. So if we are not joining the sleeve, our sleeve length is going to be 12 inches, 12 inches from your shoulder. That's our sleeve, sleeve length, um, sorry, the armhole length, not sleeve length, sorry. Your armhole length. It's going to be 12 inches from the shoulder not 9 inches now when it is 9 inches is when you are joining the sleeve together to this um, to the dress but now we are patterning you are drafting the 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 dress together with the sleeve so now the neck neck measurement we are using three and a half inches three and a half inches then from 
from that on that a uh, four inches line we have just we, we have drafted before we are going to measure 10 inches on it we are measuring 10 inches on it then we are joining it joining it to our neck measurement which is the three and a half we're joining it today together then now we are getting our shoulder slant our shoulder slant here yeah. Sorry, our uh, shoulder slant is not going to be one inch because it's kimono. So we are going to use half inch for this shoulder slant for your kimono dress, half inch. That's 0 0.5 inch for your kimono dress. So as you can see, we are getting closer to what we want. We are getting closer to it. So the next thing is our our gown length so we are now we are getting the length of the dress the length of the dress is a uh, 64 and 64 inches so, 64 inches i've gotten the length of my dress I got 60 and I added uh, 5 inches. That's 1 inch for sewing allowance. 1 inch for sewing allowance. So, uh, um, so after that, we are, we are going to get our neck depth. Neck depth of uh, 10 inches. You see? 10 inches. And then um, and we are going to Cross our line from from our neck neck depth to the 10 inches like so see and then down to the, the, the straight line down to the maybe your half length just place your ruler like this and make sure you you make make a straight line there so now we have also connected our our shoulder so we're going to cut it out to see how our front pattern is and we are going to use the front pattern to cut our back piece so when we are done we're going to shape our armhole so that it will not uh, come out from pointed this way as you can see we're going to cut it this way okay so not here please i made a mistake is here Shipping it here, sorry. Shipping it here, so as you can see, we're going to cut the sleeve together with the armhole and with the dress. The sleeve is not going to be different, you see. So, we're going to we are cutting it now from here. Now, so I'm cutting the back piece of the kimono dress. The back piece of the kimono dress. So I place the front piece on top of the, the fabric. You know, so removing the four inches I've, uh, I added to the front piece, I removed it because, as you can see, so I placed it on the line and I Place the, the only thing that is different here now is that I am I pattern the the neckline. The neckline is one inch. The neck, neckline is one inch by two and a half inches. As 
you can see so we're going to cut it and the same thing with the front pattern just that the difference is the slant neck at the front and the four inches are there together so let's do the cutting now so the next thing now we are going to measure we are going to add the row or the collar the collar to the front uh, neck of the dress so we're going to measure from the from the shoulder of the front dress to down then when we measure one side we are going to tie and zip together and the, so let's take the the measurement of the the collar so I'm done taking the measurement of the collar or the rope you know so the the one side of the dress for the collar is 67 so I turn 67 by 2 and it's giving us 134 so the length is 434 and we're going to cut it by 5 so when four together it's going to be two and a half inch like this so we're going to go on to cut the collar so I'm done with the cutting I also cut my lining exactly the way I cut the fabric so I'm going to to the sewing machine to sew it down the ropes are already there have cut the rope the rope is already there you can see i've cut the rope so we're going to the sewing machine to show you the outcome i will show you the outcome when i finish it <laughs> 